What's good YouTube? It's Great Vice Media Group here. And today we're going to be covering a topic that gets requested a lot, and that's web design. Uh, there's many different templates we can make, and today I just decided to make a simple but bold uh, template to show how to make it. So, yeah. Um, this is the about, about page, this is the home page. Um, in my example, I'm going to show you how to make the about page because no reason I just want to show you how to make the about page because I'm not going to do every single page but you'll learn the skills how to make it so we're going to go to file new I'm going to do width 1200 by and then height 1500 that should be good alright now what we want to do is change our background color to black and then our foreground color to some sort of darky grey Alright, then we get our gradient tool and just drag it diagonally like so. If we zoom in, we've got texty. Um, yeah, anyways, forget the text. Um, as you can see, we've got a nice little gradient going on here. Um, now, what we're going to do is with a lighter gray. We're gonna make use the rectangle tool to make a lineish sort of thing going on. Let's see that. Maybe it's a, yeah, that's way too fit. I know that's right. I just had stroke on for some reason. Um, so yeah, and then we just drag it there. Next, we get our white color, and we. I'm gonna write company name. We can do it in any font we like, but I'm using Impact because it's quite a good Web 2.0 um, uh, font. So yeah, I'm gonna normally you'll get a company name in the top left, but for this layout, I noticed that if it's in the, just underneath that navigation part, it looks quite good. Um, and then we get slogan. Is that how it's done? Yes, yeah, slogan. And then just make the slogan a lot smaller. And then we change the slogan to a different color. Let's make it. Let's make this theme blue. The last one was purple, pink, not purple, pink. <laughs> Imagine a designer being colorblind. <laughs> That'd be quite bad. Um, but yeah. Then we do the navigation. So home. Uh, about contact advertise these are just random pages not everyone's gonna have that on their website we change that to white All right here's the thing that you're gonna do to your pages as I'm doing the about page what I'm gonna do is highlight about and change that to blue alright so the user that on the website actually knows um, knows that they're on the about page now one thing I'm just gonna make the navigation a tiny bit smaller yeah that'll do and then we basically have already quite a nice navigation quite nice layout to the company name and slogan uh, like I said this layout's gonna be really striky boldy sort of thing so yeah now what we're gonna do is get another a, a gray again with our rectangle tool, just make a box. Okay? Like so. And for some reason, I don't know why actually, um, all my boxes and all this and that keep having um, a stroke around them, which is what we're going to need, but. We don't do that straight away because I want to show you guys that we need to do a stroke. So we need to do a stroke. All right. I'm gonna click on the white color and we're gonna change the opacity down to around 40. And that's how it looks. So it's, at the moment it's looking quite good. Uh, now this box is gonna be called About Us. All right. And basically. It can be like if I show an example before on the home page version, 
it had the two featured columns like if I look uh, where is it there so you can see this is the featured section so this would be like a post and all that uh, the images are blacked out because I don't want to get copyrighted and all that so yeah um, and then you can see over here you can see over here um, that we have a secondary story then we have an advert and useful links and all this and that sorry about that guys my mum walked in um, and then yeah so we're gonna have the about section then we're gonna make a little toolbox and we're gonna get some lorem ipsum to fill in there alright and that will do good we're gonna change the font to um, Arial I think yeah it'll do and then make it a lot smaller ok not that much smaller alright now it's looking decent uh, um, we can flick in a picture or two in here as well so let's find a nice little picture of ourselves um, there we go alright mm -hmm. okay alright um one thing I'm going to just edit real quick is this box because it, it doesn't really look that good like that alright so I'm just going to quickly fix all this mumbo jumbo alright now it's looking decentish alright one more there we go alright so this is our like little blurby section now what we're going to do is get duplicate that shape box that we made so we have two now yeah we're going to transform it to be a bit longer we're going to transform it to almost right at the end alright and then this is going to be like uh, we're going to call this sorry about that not that um, delete alright I'm going to call this what we can do for you. What can we do for you? Ooh, ooh. All right, impact again. And we're going to, what was that? 69. Okay, so we're going to do the, keep it the same, 69. All right. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Now what we're going to do is again get some uh, lorem ipsum. If you guys don't know what lorem ipsum is, it's basically just this text sort of thing. Oops. That design is used. Change that again to Arial. Alright. Um, you know what? Let me... Alright, make that a bit smaller. And we're going to make a paragraph here. We'll, I'll show you why we made a paragraph in a second, but apart from that, well, that's that bit little section done. Obviously, you're not going to use Lorem Ipsum in your actual tutorial, um, template because you're going to actually have content. But yeah, and I'm moving it slightly to the right and I'm going to leave a little gap here. As you can see in the About section, we had little bullet point things. You can use any bullet point. Um, yeah, I don't actually know where the R. What um, I'm guessing will be in here. Yeah, it's these. I don't really. I really can't be bothered to make another one, so I'm just gonna just like cheat a little bit and just like drag it into here. All right, and then duplicate it and put one right there cool um, now 
there's a little touches at the top of the navigation we're gonna if we look in this we have all the social oops I forget I can't be able to fix it we have the little social um boxy things so again I can't be bothered to make the little icons I'm just going to um, I'm just gonna drag it into mine but you you're gonna like add all your own little buttons and all this and that and be really nice if it would drag but obviously it's not going to because I'm recording it always does this drag don't be a re oh my days it's it's being a retard there we go all right now we're going to position it around there all right and I'm going to do I'm going to move uh, the navigation a tiny bit there we go that's perfect that is looking good and now there's just a final step of getting your little text in and writing www.cimg.co.uk designed by CIMG okay obviously you're not going to write that well you can I guess but that'd be a bit weird wouldn't it alright and you make it pretty damn darn small smaller than that I'd say around 20 yeah that looks about good and then you just change the colour to a grey a bit lighter than that and there there we have it alright so if I view this in full screen mode you can see we have the clear um, navigation bar home about contact advertise we have a little few social buttons so you can have like if you want people to subscribe to your RSS field click on that button Facebook Twitter then we have a company name and slogan as you saw in the other example we had an advertising box but I realize it gets a bit com complicated when you start getting into advertising boxes um, and I wanted to keep this quite simple um, the about us section again nicely presented really easy to read and then what we can do for you blah 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 and then we have a little watermark copyright sort of thing that you could have like all rights reserved to cmg.kuk or whatever and yeah that's how to design a simple page uh, don't know really what to call it but yeah um, I'm off to make the tutorial on how to code this so it's on the web now uh, it won't be on straight away but I'll try to do it tonight so you guys can straight away like learn how to like use Dreamweaver if you don't have Dreamweaver um, download the demo I'd say which reminds me I'm gonna have to use my other computer so I'm not gonna be using a Mac for the next one as I don't have Dreamweaver on my Mac but yeah um, that's how you make a basic bold but quite attractive um, page in Photoshop thanks for watching please comment rate and subscribe